Hello folks and welcome to this very strange little interlude on my channel. Um, we're going to play a rather old game called Castles and Catapults. Um, this was the very first video game that I ever played. Um, actually, no, that's not true. It was the first, I guess, uh, it was the first game that I played that wasn't a, like a side-scrolling DOS game. We'll get into that later, but um, yeah, so I figured this would be fun. Um, so we're going to start a whole new, um, a whole new save. Uh, it took me years to figure out how exactly this works. It's not very intuitive, and for some reason, my mouse, my mouse is going to need some <laughs> some adjustment because it's a little bit oversensitive. Um, okay, so this is a um, this is a fantasy top-down strategy game. I understand that it's based on a, uh, a board game of the same name that was popular in the early to mid-80s. Um, the video game itself is from 2003, as you might have seen from the menu. So, so we are going to start basically what is basically story mode. Um, there is another mode called skirmish, which is basically where you can play against uh, other people who have the game. Um, so in that way, it's kind of uh, like an early League of Legends, I guess. Um, but yes, anyway, look, let's uh, let's get into it. So the first level, take the reins. Young sir, I beg your forgiveness in this trying time. With your father now dead, you are in charge of his lands. Already, small lairds are testing your strength by reclaiming their ancestral lands they had tied to your father. You must show you have strength and reclaim the I don't remember the voice ever being so Simon slow. You control a neighboring keep, but your army is small and limited. Okay. So, destroy all enemy forces. So, there are basically two modes or two goals of play. Um and it's either destroy all enemy forces or uh, destroy the enemy keep. Um, so those are the two different, uh, I guess, uh, ways to win, but you have to, it tells you which is the way to win. Um, so then there's this sort of uh, thing that reminds me of, <laughs> reminds me of high school PE class, <laughs> where you take turns choosing people, and we didn't actually get any archers, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, I'm really going to have to do something about this mouse because for whatever reason uh, it's just not working for me. Um, I think that's the best we can do really. So, uh, unless, so it, like at this early point it doesn't really matter how you configure them. Um, Obviously, the question, like the strategic question, is do you distribute them uh, quite widely, quite broadly across your three little armies, or do you just, um, you know, go all out? That's like as a kid, I used to always go all out for um, like just with one, <laughs> put everyone in one army, and. Um, I now realise that's a ridiculous way to play. Uh, yeah, so, I guess this is how this game works. Um, we can also check out the battlefield a little bit. Um, I actually really like the scenery in this game, of all things. I feel very nostalgic about this game. Um, we are obviously, we're obviously winning, so <laughs> it sucks to be them. Um, but... Uh, so, actually, while we've got a bit of spare time, we'll just move a little bit closer to the enemy. So this is the enemy's keep here. They get, like, this cool red flame, and we have this, like, blue flame. And um, At the moment, our castles are kind of janky, but as the game progresses, the castles get a little bit more uh, spicy. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get some, some of these archers happening. Oh, because that would be fantastic. Um, so it is actually a very simple game. As a kid, I I don't know if this is like a universal sort of millennial experience, but as a kid, 
I really just like fumbled my way through video games. I had no idea what I was doing most of the time and I don't know how I got anything done in video games. Um, and often I didn't get anything done because I remember I had so many games where I got to like level three or something and then just didn't play the game again or whatever. Um, so in theory you can- aha yes okay so you can use the numerical keys to um, I guess uh, quickly select your uh, your army. So level one we are smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. Um, I make the comparison with League of Legends but I have actually never played League of Legends before so. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's go round three. Just absolutely thrash them is what we'll do. Um, so some of these other tiles, and I will grab some of these. This is this is a healing. This um, Caduceus symbol is a healing uh, tile. So since we already have some pretty quality units, we might just uh, give them the benefit of the healing. The healing. The benefit of the healing. Look at this. I've actually never, ever, ever played this game with such a balanced set of armies. That's a very uncommon. That's not. Uh, <laughs> that's not a common thing. Um, no. Yeah, so. You might have noticed. <laughs> we are victorious. Yeah, of course we're victorious. Jeez, crazy. Uh, look, I can't interpret this for you. This is sausage to me. I don't. I've never been able to. Obviously, there is some sort of numerical scoring system. Oh, look, scoring info. <laughs> but you can imagine how interested I would have been in that as a child. Anyway, so yeah, whatever. We don't actually have any castle pieces, so it's not really re very relevant at the moment. Uh, you earn points for each unit remaining in your on the field. Yeah, okay. Hit points times two. So I wouldn't have a clue what hit points. Like, there's no. Uh, that's not displayed on the screen. You earn points for every enemy unit you destroy. Uh, when you complete the mission objectives, you'll earn bonus water points. Yeah, cool. Neat. So they really suck, and we are excellent. That's all Sir, we have to. You have reclaimed your lands, and now the Holy Roman Empire seeks a claim on your lands further east in Alsace Lorraine. You must travel there and build up your forces locally and reclaim what were once the holdings of your father. Your provincial estate also supports a small siege workshop, which may be a great help to you. So this storyline, I, it, it, I have no idea. I really don't. I don't have any idea what's going on. I mean, I do because it's simple enough to understand. But as a kid, I would not have had a clue. Um, so we've got two options here: we can destroy the enemy keep or eliminate all enemy forces. So we're gonna we're gonna kick it off with a catapult. That's what we're gonna do. P.S. The soundtrack to this game. Mwah. It goes off. It like no one asked for this. No one asked for this banging soundtrack. Just listen to this. It's just. It, it's just sparkling. It is a sparkling soundtrack. Um, okay, so I have a bit of an idea here. Let's get our catapult. We're gonna take him out here. And we're gonna get army number three. I'm gonna. No. No, no. No. Yes, good. Okay. Uh, we're going to go straight over here. So you can get these castle pieces. They're pretty redundant. Uh, 
as you can see, like I can just go around the back. Like this <laughs> This is some it's like this is some object impermanence BS right here. It's like, oh I can't see me, I put up a big brick wall. Like I Um Oh wow that was quick. Nice work guys. Uh no, don't bomb that. Cool. You know what? This might be a one round um <laughs> one round game this time. I'm just really hoping. Uh, I've forgotten how to rotate the camera in action. Nearly destroyed their keep. Oh, have we? That's nice. Yeah, um, this is a bit quicker than I thought it would be. Actually, what I was getting at before was, um, as a kid, uh, I did finish the game. It must have been one of the only games that I actually finished as a kid. Um, but... We are victorious. Yep. <laughs> it must be one of the only games that I finished as a kid, but um, only after an unreasonably long time, Blair, I think. <laughs> reclaiming your lands has yielded an unexpected treasure. A letter from Prester John to Pope Alexander. He is in dire need of help. His paradise on Earth is under attack by the infidels. The letter was delivered by a local laird who now pledges his service in the quest to help Prester John. Your forces are now commanded by the seasoned field leader. Yeah, Prester John, um, he's the only character I remember, really. I did replay this game fairly recently, and it took me all of a day. <laughs> um, but yes, so... Yeah, <laughs> let's let's just get into it. Destroy all enemy forces. Have at you, my friend. Oh, we should have got the archer. Oh, poop. Oh, poop. So, um... Uh, yeah. Uh, do we get two pikemen or do we get an, a swordsman? Mm, yeah, go on. Because the bank does carry over to... Oh, look, it's a, that's a paladin. Anyway, we're actually done. Because we're out of mini. Out of coinage. Do I go for three armies? Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so it literally took me... Um, look, look at these little houses. It took me a day to play through it as an adult. Oh no. Look at this. Ugh. This is going to be a mess. <laughs> These trees look like broccoli. <laughs> broccoli trees. Sorry. Uh, we're doing well. We're doing well, men. Good work, lads. Yeah, you tell them. Although, we did suffer rather heavy losses just now, so that's a bit worrying. Oh well. Um. Yes, because of the age of this game, uh, you might notice that I have decided to uh, do something a bit interesting with the window and uh, the recording setup, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a square. The screen is a square. It's made for those old, uh, you know, dinosaur monitors, uh, from back in the day. Um, is it worth healing these guys up, or... Mm, I don't know. We don't want that, because it's not just... Oh, I'm confused. Was it destroy the enemy keep or the enemy forces? Oh. 
Oh, we don't want any of this. Ugh. Black. Uh, yep, that'll do us. This guy here, this guy here. Um... Yeah, I like this two army setup. That's we can jive with that. Uh, let's go for these guys. These guys can come in here. All right, should be no trouble, folks. Oh, that was quick. And you know what? You know these graphics are are actually they have not aged super poorly. Let me see if I can... Aha! Here we go. Let's rotate the camera a little bit. They really have not aged super poorly. Like, you know, some polygonal type early CGI games look absolutely dismal, but this... Like, this is reasonably... You know... I guess they have the luxury of it being like a top-down... Like, there's enough distance there for it to be kind of murky, but um... Yeah... Oh, we're just, we're, we're laughing. <laughs> we're laughing, guys. There's absolutely nothing they can do about this. All right, let's, let's be ridiculous. You know? Um, he needs it. Um, put him there. And, uh, that was your uncle. Uh, come on, let's, let's, let's start, shall we? Finish. I don't know what you're gonna do with a catapult, man. We are victorious. Yes, excellent. Okay. Your goal is now clear. Make your way to the Holy Lands and help free Prester John from his siege. You must advance further south to take control of a keep once held by your father's cousin, Reginald Chambeau. The regional vassals pool their meager forces for an attack. That's a spelling mistake. Is near empty as well. Work to survive the attack on the land as we ready our troops and wait for the income from this year's harvests. Who are these guys? These, these guys. <laughs> That's. They look like my uncles. Anyway, destroy all enemy forces. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got very limited resources this round. Uh, so I think we'll go for two pikemen in this case. Uh, let's do something like this. Lovely. We'll see what happens. Um... Oh, he gets a better castle than me! What's that about? That's not... It's not fair at all. Alright, how are we gonna go? This one's gonna be a bit tricky. Oh no, we're, we're doing well. We're doing well, guys. How's he going? He's on yellow. These guys are pretty valuable, so. I'm gonna make sure he stays healthy. Oh dear. Oh, I don't like the look at this. Oh, that. That seemed really close. <laughs> Alright, let's heal up this paladin. Uh, let's grab one of them. So we've got seven left. Grab one of them. A three and a two would be good. Ah, we don't want any of this! Okay, fine. Yes, excellent. Um... Is that going to be enough support? Probably. Probably, maybe. Okay. Yep. That death noise, I just... I'm so used to this game. Like, every single sound bite in this game, I am just incredibly used to but to you guys it must sound so stupid like the Whoa. 
Same then, same. Um, let's, yeah, let's creep a touch closer. You can't get too close or it, they will literally pull you back. Uh, like that might actually be a touch close, but yeah. Anyway, uh, ding ding, final round. Uh, I don't want any of this, but if we're lucky, Oh. So one of the castle pieces, like the the only one that is of any use to you, is um. You know what? I'm gonna put them all in the same army. Uh, the only one that's of any use to you is this attack tower, Bizzo. We, we must make deal with what we victory. have. Um. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, it's just attack tower and it um it just fires arrows at at people who are nearby. It's it's like a um, a passive attacking thing. Uh, and it's it's actually fairly useful, but that's the only one that is Good news, useful. sir. We find ourselves flush with a full water chest from a good harvest on your northern holdings. Now we may move our forces into the arid south. Already we have discovered a powerful new weapon that we can now recreate in our siege workshops. One last stronghold remains before a push into the east and one step closer to Preston John. Alright. So, different goal this time. Destroy the enemy keep. Uh, not a lot of this is useful to us at the moment. Yep, we'll have that. Uh, yeah. We'll see now. This is where. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with men over weapons. Men over weapons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's beef this up a little bit. Uh, actually, I don't know. Um, yeah. Because I would like to, I would like these guys to make a beeline for this. Uh, so what have we got? We've got army one and then army two is here. Army one, just hold the firing a little bit. Nope, we'll get that happening and we'll get that happening too. Thank you, we need to get rid of that ballista as quickly as possible because it will cause us problems. These guys are moving close to the castle so that they can stick a catapult on that army in the next round, but I shan't be having it. I shan't. Okay, so time is of the essence. That's going okay. I just, I just love this soundtrack. I just think it's so wonderful. Alright. Let's do it. We can probably get a pretty good start on this. How are we going over here? Yep, that's fine. Uh, actually, we'll just move them. Must destroy the enemy's keep. Let's move you as well. Because this um this terrain is a bit of an issue. Fan. A little bit more time here. Ooh! Okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's get some more catapults on the go because we can. Uh, thingamabob probably needs healing. Uh, I don't want any of this. Uh, let's get another catapult. Ooh, no, that's bad. That's bad. We don't want him to have that. Uh, okay. Let's... Oh, let's go for a swordsman. That's all from us. Uh, pikeman. He's not really that valuable. Let's heal him. Let's add an archer here. Let's do that. And that. And let's be real silly over here. That's a little bit unbalanced. Um, we'll put you over there. I, I do want the paladin to be supported. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, army number one, you're going over here. Quick, 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 quick. Army number two, army number three, you're up. No, don't go that way. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Dude. <laughs> Dude, you, you. You dummies. Come on, get him. Get him, what are you doing? Oh, good. It's easier than I thought it was going to be. Ah, oh, we win. You suck. You can deal with it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me for this funny little, uh, I guess, intermission on my channel. Uh, this episode of Castles and Catapults. Please join me next time and we'll have a look at the second act. Have a good one. Cheers.